from strange additives found in popular fast foods, what really occurred in the XXX Tentacion situation, to alien portals found in the deserts of Iraq. All this and more in the darkest conspiracy theory iceberg. Hey, Ariel here for the Book of Alice channel. I hope you guys are all having a good day or night, whatever time it is. And I want to thank you guys for getting the channel to 148,000 subscribers. I love y'all for sticking around and supporting my content. Use me as background noise for all I care. I appreciate the support. There's also my Instagram and my Twitter if you guys would like to follow that. I want to have it as a backup in case anything ever happens to the channel for updates and other things. Anyways, let's get into this iceberg. Toxic Fake Food This entry references the additives and other harmful ingredients that are in human food in order to produce large quantities of it, at a cheaper price, or because it simply makes the food more addictive and delicious. This of course is detrimental to our health, but ultimately big food companies value profit more than morals, you know, doing the right thing for the greater good. Take for example what the pizza chain Domino's is doing in India, a developing nation they offer a once considered quality fast food product at a cheaper rate of only under one American dollar. I mean, some things on the menu are only a few cents. Allegedly, a former Domino Shift consultant even came out, revealing that they use fake cheese, instead using a super creamy sauce that mimics the consistency of natural melted cheese, as seen in the documentary Global Junk Food. They even sent off the Domino's cheese to be tested in a lab, finding no traces of cheese whatsoever in the contraption, but rather tons of oils and saturated fats. And do they get away with it? Yes, due to the fact that they aren't legally obligated to provide nutritional facts to the people of India. In China, some street vendors and restaurants who are struggling to get by purchase recycled gutter oil to cook with, as it is a way to make the food more affordable, though they contain bacteria, heavy metals, and pesticides, which are known to be carcinogenic. Processing and reheating the oil is also known to release cancer-causing substances, including some of the most poisonous carcinogens. During the Beijing Winter Olympics, athletes were warned of consuming Chinese meats by several agencies, as they feared the meats contained certain drugs that could disqualify them for the games, specifically kombucha, an agent banned to use in meat productions in the US. Humans don't have free will. According to this theory, a person's every move is predetermined. Humans do not have free will. They were given their fates by the powers that be. Some believe that we live in a simulation where all the actions an individual takes is simply according to their programming, where hypothetically all NPCs, nobody's the main character. Our past, present, and futures are already defined according to this theory. Now, some argue that a certain version of quantum mechanics allows for this to happen. All the states of the quantum universe exist at the same time. Multiple scenarios occur without us realizing it. This is known as the many worlds interpretation. Randomness is only believed to exist because we simply experience one reality at a time. Drake put a hit on XXX Tentacion. Going viral again on TikTok, this theory isn't new and it had been circulating for a while before blowing up again in 2023. Of course, this had to do with the tragic passing of XXX Tentacion in Florida. Assassinated while in his car, soon after his death, people online began pointing fingers, accusing certain rivals he had in the industry for being responsible for the hit. The person who came up the most in the conversation was Drake, accused of sneak dissing X even after his death, stating on the song on BS, if he held his tongue and that live, he'd be alive again. The strange thing that really held up this theory for many years was the fact that X himself said that if he were ever taken out, Drake was the person behind it. Not only that, he claimed that people were trying to sacrifice him, including Drake claiming that he was trying to steal his flow and music style. These accusations supposedly angered Drake, enough to put a hit out for him. Drake's involvement almost made it to the trial when the defense attorney, Marcelio Padilla, believed that Aubrey needed to face deposition, though Drake's lawyer challenged doing any sort of deposition because he was nowhere near the scene of the crime, and there is no concrete evidence of Aubrey's involvement whatsoever, though many argue that he simply had others do the dirty work for him. You know mob ties, leaving him clean with no traces leading back to him. The judge ultimately refused to bring Drake into X's trial though. Mobs control China. 
When you think about it, you don't often see Western news outlets cover Asian mobs and their crimes. Known as the Chinese Triad Mafia, the gang's origin can be traced back to the 17th century. Unlike other organized crime groups that predominantly focus on certain ventures, the Triad is involved in various sectors including government and business, ranking themselves according to numeric codes based on Chinese numerology, indicating a person's level in the gang. Some believe that these family-controlled groups have infiltrated major parts of the Chinese government, giving them free reign to do whatever they want in China. Some say that this is why human abductions are common in China and why they almost always go unsolved. In one report, it stated that 2,739 people went missing every day in China in the year 2020. That's close to 1 million people completely vanishing in the year. Those are also considered low numbers compared to past stats. As in 2016, the number of missing persons was 3.94 million. In one case, a woman who found out that she had been abducted as a child came forward trying to find her origin and ultimately her real family, describing what she could remember about her childhood before being kidnapped. Some say that these mafias are getting so powerful that they are also infiltrating cartels in Mexico, a country known for having ruthless drug cartels. They work together in efforts to smuggle product into the United States more efficiently. Iraq Hidden Stargates The Mesopotamian region consisting of Iraq and other countries is the home of the ancient Sumerians who worshipped deities known as the Anunnaki. Theorized to be an ancient alien civilization who brought knowledge to human beings on Earth, the Sumerians believed that they lived in the heavens above. This area is often described as the cradle of civilization for the old world at the time, as they were some of the first to develop a form of writing and agriculture, leading to powerful ancient cities. A modern theory proposes that these godlike entities, known as the Anunnaki, give the Sumerians the technology and knowledge to push humanity forward, creating a stargate or portal of sorts that allowed for communication between the Anunnaki aliens and the humans. These portals were kept secret and were always well guarded throughout history in order to maintain civility on Earth. America, a modern world superpower, wanted complete access to these stargates, so the theory is that they purposely started the Iraq war, giving them a reason to enter the country and steal the ancient technologies in the region. This is also theorized to be the main reason why other powerful countries wanted to control this area. LASIK Big Pharma Rabbit Hole Many are unaware of the dangers of getting LASIK eye surgery, a procedure done to correct vision allowing people to not have to wear glasses or contacts. They basically shoot a laser into each of your eyeballs and it's supposed to change the shape of the cornea by sanding it down with the laser so you can see in HD. It sounds painful but for many people it heals quickly and it dramatically changes their life for the positive. But this isn't the case for everyone who undergoes the procedure. For one college kid it ultimately led to depression and he would go on to an alive because the pain and vision loss due to the surgery was so intense it wouldn't go away. We know all this because of his final letter detailing his pain and suffering that came as a result of the surgery. His dry eyes were so bad that he put on eye drops every five minutes. This isn't the only case of something like this happening either. Another case details a father who was required to wear glasses for his police officer position. Not wanting to wear them, he opted for LASIK eye surgery instead, but his recovery didn't go as planned. He constantly suffered from dry eye, making his eyes very sensitive, causing a great burning sensation. His son noticed that he was beginning to see signs of depression in his father, as he sometimes wouldn't want to get out of bed in the morning due to his eye problems. Sadly, one day, his father didn't come home at the time that he was expecting. He later found out that his father had unalived himself in his cruiser with his issued service weapon at 54 years old. His final letter stated in all caps, do not have LASIK surgery, tell the media. One guy even suffered the pain for six years until he finally decided it was enough. His father would go on to advocate for him. Um, I'm here to tell the story of my son, Colin. Uh, before Colin had LASIK surgery, he was a very confident, outgoing person. There was no sign of any mental illness. He'd never been diagnosed with mental illness. As you can see, he wasn't much more than a child. But I think the thing that best explains where Colin was is to read the last words he left for us. At the time of this writing, I've lived for six and a half years like this, and it drives me more and more crazy every single day. For a while, I coped fairly well and have gone forward with things I had to do. But this problem has kept me from enjoying life the way I used to.
There's also the popular meteorologist who unalived after reporting permanent eye issues due to getting LASIK. She was married with two children. Even a former FDA advisor who voted to approve LASIK surgery said he regrets it and is now an advocate against the procedure, as he believes the lifelong risks outweigh the benefits for most. Some believe that the risks aren't highlighted enough, to the point that it seems professionals are ignoring the evidence and prioritizing the profitable industry, even though 10 to 30 percent of those who get the procedure done suffer a variety of complications in their eyesight afterwards. According to LASIK surgeons themselves, they have a 96 percent satisfaction rate, which is kind of amazing, as this means 4 out of 100 people are not pleased with the results after getting this procedure done on one of the most sensitive parts of the body. Coke changed. According to one theory, the Coca-Cola company purposely changed the formula of Coca-Cola to one that was inferior in order to either increase demand for the original product or allow for the reintroduction of the original with a new formula made with less expensive ingredients, either due to inflation or simply greed. However, Coca-Cola president at the time, Donald Coe, had a response, stating, the truth is, we're not that dumb and we're not that smart. This all came after the invention of New Coke, which was launched in 1985 by the company, due to them believing that the drink was falling out of popularity after a decline in sales, though some think that this was an excuse to switch to a cheaper formula that would ultimately be detrimental to our health. New Coke ended up flopping, regular customers preferred the old recipe that they completely replaced, and it went back to the original Coke. At straight away. This entry is in reference to Twitter user Straight Away, who posted a video online showcasing a strange voicemail message he got with no caller ID. These words aren't random either. If you decipher it using the NATO phonetic alphabet, it translates to danger, SOS, it is dire for you to evacuate, be cautious, they are not human. It sounds like something out of a movie, right? In the video, the robot voice also reads a series of numbers, which if they plugged into Google Maps at the time, they got coordinates close to a specific part of Malaysia, where a plane vanished. Some began to make connections and concluded that it had to be coming from Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, an international passenger flight that disappeared on March 8th, 2014 without a trace. The last recorded words from the cockpit were Good Night Malaysian 370, involving a whole other conspiracy too. That puts forth the idea that you could hear a faint scream or something strange in the background at the end of that recording. Take a listen. The dude that allegedly got this voicemail also started to receive unsettling messages telling him to remove the post off his account. Guy even got messages in Morse code, which some translated to, they are taking over. Shane Dawson even interviewed the man in the video, Mind Blowing Conspiracy Theories, where the guy swears he didn't fake the voicemail. Gateway Experience. Guess who's behind this one? That's right, the good old CIA, a government agency that has no record whatsoever of being involved in shady things like JFK or the straight up fact that they spy on literally everyone through their phones and laptops and were exposed for doing so by their own member. This entry is a little bit more interesting than that though. Analysis and assessment of gateway process is a declassified document report containing information about a training system designed to enhance one's focus and coherence by somehow changing our brainwaves outputs on both our left and right hemispheres using the power of sound to do so. This would alter consciousness in the human body, allowing us to access the non-physical elements of life, a different reality of sorts. Declassified by the CIA in 2003, but originally published in 1983, the report even states that healing our own bodies and manifesting goals are practical uses of this training system, as they describe it. You could also access these brain-enhancing benefits through transcendental meditation and hypnosis, supposedly, as they parallel the outcomes. Something called biofeedback also caught my eye, as I had never heard of the practice before. Let me read this interesting passage from the report. It explains the technique and its benefits. The third consciousness altering methodology which will be briefly described is biofeedback. Biofeedback is somewhat unique in that it actually employs the self-cognitive powers of the left hemisphere to gain access to such areas of the right brain as the lower cerebral, motor, and sensor cortices, and assorted pain or pleasure centers. Instead of suppressing the left hemisphere as is done in hypnosis or largely bypassing and ignoring it as is done in transcendental meditation, biofeedback teaches the left hemisphere first to visualize the desired results 
results and then to recognize the feelings associated with the experience of successful right hemisphere access to the specific lower cerebral cortex pain or pleasure or other areas in the manner needed to produce the desired result. Wow, that's hard to digest. Here's an example. If the subject wishes to increase the circulation in the left leg in order to speed up healing, he may concentrate with his left brain on achieving that result while carefully monitoring a digital thermometer connected to the left leg. When the concentrated efforts begin to achieve success, the digital thermometer will register an increase in the temperature of the left leg. At that point, the subject can mentally left brain associate the sensations experienced with the results achieved and can begin to emphasize by memory recall the same process to cause its strength by affirmation and repetition. Using this technique, pain can be blocked, healing can be enhanced, malignant tumors can apparently be suppressed and ultimately destroyed, the body's pleasure centers can be stimulated once again, and a variety of specific physiological results can be achieved, according to this paper. The mysteries behind language. There are tons of strange facts about human language. For example, they did a study in which students were taught a language at an early age at an accelerated pace. MRIs showed that parts of their brains began to grow due to the fact that they were learning a new language. The other group, the control group, were learning something completely different and showed no brain growth whatsoever. People who have learned a second language at an early age have also been shown to have better cognitive function at older ages, even delaying the effects of Alzheimer's altogether in some individuals. You can even talk to your DNA according to some people. A theory persists that words can have an effect on one's DNA and change our body's energy. Mantra this is described as a secret chant of a word or words containing an important meaning in order to have some sort of effect on yourself or others. There is convincing evidence that using mantras can in fact help people manage their hypertension by reducing their blood pressure and reducing stress. All this to say that words do in fact have power over human beings. Katy Perry MK Ultra. This entry derives from a video that went viral depicting famous singer Katy Perry having some sort of episode on stage after performing. Her face goes blank as she stares off into the distance and her eyes begin to twitch. The top comment even stated, almost seemed like she had to push a button to open her eyes on the side of her face. Some believe that she is under some sort of mind control by elite Hollywood handlers in order to fulfill a certain contract. Others legitimately believe that she is a clone. Supposedly, clones are made in case the artist passes before paying back the loans given to them by music labels. For all we know, it could be something like the sunken place from Jordan Peele's Get Out. Purple Sphere Freakout Let's say you're walking through the desert for any particular reason, and you come across thousands of purple jelly-like spheres scattered in a single area. Would you be astonished and call the local news, or would you just conclude that it's some sort of weird trending product, like Orbeez that someone left there? Well, apparently, not many people know or I guess knew about water beads back in 2013, leading to an entire news segment touching on a woman who found, like many stated, alien-like eggs in the barren desert. Some theories even suggested it was a new fungal type organism. Others wrote it off as strange, but a natural phenomenon. Litter Boxes and Schools Origin There was a popular rumor going around that claimed schools in the United States and Canada were providing litter boxes in public school bathrooms for teens who identified as cats, furries, or any other subculture. Though perpetuated in the media, it turned out to be completely fake. As every school that was mentioned in popular news articles about the rumor denied the accusation that they ever did such a thing. Many prominent figures claimed that this was true and used the false rumor to start a frenzy. Among Joe Rogan listeners? Yeah, he brought it up once freaking out about it, but later admitted that there was no proof this was true. No, kitty litter was not offered in public schools, but that begs the question, who started this rumor? And why did the media eat it up so fast? Pearl Harbor was not a surprise. This theory states that the Pearl Harbor attack by Japan was purposely allowed to occur by the US military. Some claim that certain military officials knew about the plan, but rather than trying to prepare for the attack, they let the events unfold. The most popular version of this theory states that Franklin D. Roosevelt, the US president at the time, decided to allow the attack and use it as an excuse to enter the United States into the Second World War as Congress and most American civilians were strongly opposed to joining the conflict. They needed an excuse to push it forward. Here's a fact. 
10 hours before the event, the US intercepted Japanese radio messages that detected Japanese fleets heading very close to Hawaii, something that was considered alarming. Yet nobody warned commanders in Hawaii to send ships and air patrols to investigate the matter. It's said that Admiral Hart of the United States Navy even knew about the attacks and that they would occur sometime around December 7th. US Marines were even evacuated from China days before. They were set up in the Philippines in order to prepare for the war. Straw Man Legal Argument The Straw Man This is a legal term used by many sovereign citizens. They believe that a person has two identities under the law, one as a flesh and blood human being and the other being a separate entity, the straw man, that is supposed to represent you and that's all legal responsibilities apply to that entity, but not directly to you as the flesh and blood person. Therefore, they conclude that they do not have to follow certain or all governmental laws though you first need to go through a process which legally separates you from your straw man, according to them, involving doing something with your social security number and birth certificate. It changes according to the person, but after that, you're legally free to do anything you want, according to them, I guess. For example, some people believe that taxes and other debts only apply to the straw man and argue that them as the person should be absolved of any financial burdens. US courts usually reject these arguments though and acknowledge them as simply being scams and the IRS has fined people for trying to do this. Though many continue to believe that this is a viable legal proceeding, there are many videos of people getting into trouble when trying this in court. Spanish conquistadors altered history. When you think of the Aztecs or Mayans, what do you think of? Does their practice of human sacrifice come into mind? Well, some believe that the Spanish conquistadors and priests, in order to dehumanize the indigenous population of Mesoamerica, would exaggerate the amount of human sacrifices that took place and lie about their reasonings behind it, simply explaining them away as savage humans that kill their own people for no reason causing some to question the numbers of sacrificed individuals as reported by the Spanish. Post-conquest sources report that as many as 80,000 plus prisoners were sacrificed over the span of four days at the reconsecration of the Great Pyramid of Tenochtitlan in 1487. That's about 15 or less sacrifices per minute. Historians now believe that these accounts were exaggerated in order to justify Spain's brutal conquest of the region. The Aztecs were also known for their use of propaganda in order to spread their political power. This would include inflating the number of enemies that were sacrificed to intimidate rivals. Missionaries at the time who actually interviewed the Aztecs themselves put the figure at around 4,000 prisoners for the Great Reconsecration. Get this, only 603 of the skulls found at the site have ever been found associated with Aztec human sacrifices as of the year 2020, which says a lot about these massive numbers. It's now understood that only high status prisoners of war were typically sacrificed, with lower status prisoners mainly being used as slave labor. They also burned the Mayan manuscripts with years of history and information, claiming it was pagan, forcing everyone in the region to convert to Catholicism. Here's a fun fact, 5,000 Mayan artifacts were set on fire and lit to burn in 1562. These were a collection of books and wooden figures. The Mayan codices, aka books, made of bark paper, contain historical accounts, astronomical observations, and even religious instructions for Maya priest. Diego de Landa, a Spanish priest, the guy that led this movement, couldn't even decipher the texts, but said that he knew he had to burn them because they supposedly contained lies from the devil. The guy even looks like a hater, what a bozo. It's still unknown what these books contained and how much ancient knowledge was lost due to his actions. Many times, mine people were burned at the stake and tortured in various ways that I can't describe here because of guidelines, but Diego took it a step further and decided that erasing their history was more impactful in the long run, as Mayans wouldn't be able to reconnect with their roots by reading the codices again. This was also done at a time when the people of the region were deciding to overthrow the Christian authorities and once again establish their own customs. So it was also a power move on behalf of Diego to burn the books. This one really pisses me off as my family is from Oaxaca, Mexico, specifically from the Mixtec region, where we speak our own native language still. It's crazy to read how much history was erased for the sake of disconnecting us from our ancestors and their achievements though. Oil Imperialism This theory asserts that the control of the world's oil reserves is the main reason why we globally enter into many wars and altercations, and this is generally agreed upon somewhat by many economists and historians that since World War I, it has always been a leading asset that many countries have strived to control. 
Many suggest that the Gulf War, the 2003 invasion of Iraq, and other altercations in the Middle East that the U.S. has been involved with were initiated to collect all the rich oil resources in the area, explaining why the U.S. is the leading producer of oil and is also the country who spends the most on their military. Explains a lot. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and leaving a like. It really helps the channel grow. Feel free to check out my other content while you're at it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.